What's up guys, it's Franklin from Dual Humor and we got a tutorial video for you guys on True Draco. Um, I know that I like to explain things in my videos and my deck profiles for you guys, but sometimes it's not the same as just seeing the cards in action, uh, which I want to do for you guys and just show you. Uh, True Draco isn't necessarily a combo deck, even in the slightest, but um, it is a deck that you need to know how to play correctly in order to win those combo decks and um maybe me just test hands doing some test hands and like showing you guys what i would do in some certain areas as well as like how to when to over like they basically just over extend or under extend is good and um yeah, I'm going to do a couple of test times for you guys, and just so you guys can see it, anyone who's interested in this deck, which I highly recommend for anyone who's um, who's uh, interested in playing the game and, like, just brand new to the, the, the game of Yu-Gi-Oh!, you guys should pick this deck up because it's pretty cheap. Uh, I play some expensive cards like Magician Souls, but we can. I, I already told you about budget options that you guys can play in the deck profile. Um, and it's just a deck that, like, is easy to pick up, easy to learn how to play. Just certain situations you need to just learn how to play with, if that makes any sense. Certain hands you just need to know what to do, and that's it. But, like, overall, the deck is pretty interesting. So, we're going to start off with five cards. Like a standard uh, going first um, hand, and right now, ooh, almost strong. Right now, um, we drew into a pretty good hand. This is a good card, evenly matches, good card going um, for uh, going second, and uh, we got two good going first cards. Uh, we didn't go, draw into any true Draco cards, but we do draw into a lot of um, uh, starter cards. So we could start off with normal summoning Blue Boy. And Blue Boy basically. Uh, we'll search out a spellbook card. So we're going to go into the deck and we're going to search out a spellbook card for you guys. Uh, and it, usually what I like to do is to search out spellbook of secrets because usually if they do have a hand trap, they will hand trap the uh, spellbook of prophecy and you wouldn't have gotten the secrets anyways. And um, if they don't do that, then you get a spell books of secrets and you decked in your deck. So you go from, instead of just going for the knowledge, you just get the secrets and, you know, you can search out the knowledge now with activating secrets right now. So you just activate secrets and you search out the knowledge and you just dinned out your deck by two cards. So uh, it's a pretty simple and um, easy concept uh, to learn in Yu-Gi-Oh. Very important to learn, obviously, in Yu-Gi-Oh because you want to... Um, Basically, reduce the amount of cards that you have in deck so you can see the combo cards or the cards that you want to see uh, when you draw. So, after that, I would activate Magician Souls. Magician Souls is a cost effect, so even if they ash it, you still have to dump the Apprentice Illusion from deck. So, that's another thing, it's just deck thinning your deck. So, literally, I could have just done, um, I could have just searched out knowledge. And added the card and just dumped, um, obviously activate knowledge and draw two cards immediately. But I run the risk of drawing into Apprentice Illusion. And then at that point, this card, Mistress of Souls, is dead. Because you can't normal summon again during the turn. So you can't activate Mistress of Souls. can't special summon him. And then obviously you don't have a normal summon because you normal summon Blue Boy. So by doing this, we just wasted two cards from... The deck, deck ended our deck by two cards, and then we added the knowledge anyways, and now we've run the risk of not drawing into Apprentice Illusion and, and ruining our Magician Souls, basically. So now we can activate uh, Spell Book of Knowledge, and we can pick whichever one, but I'll pick for the purposes of this video, we could pick, I'm going to pick uh, Blue Boy, basically. Magician of Prophecy. And we're going to draw two. So we got three cards in hand. And one, Terraform, which is good. And two, Disciples. So, pretty interesting. We still we still have the same cards that we started with, which is five. But now, look at, we'll, we'll look at our graveyard. Four cards in graveyard, basically. Four cards. And we have a monster on the field. So, Magician Souls on field, which is interesting. Now we have five cards. And what I would do at this point is activate Terraforming. So, we got to activate Terraforming. And we're going to search out, um, obviously, 
Trigonic Diagram. So Diagram is pretty interesting, pretty cool card. And it's a starter card that's going to get us into the monster that we're going to need. So I'm going to activate Diagram. I'm going to put them right here because I, I do not have enough space to show you the uh, fill spell space of this uh, playmat from Imperial Order. So, pretty cool. I'm going to activate Diagram. I'm going to pop a card. And at this point, I'll probably just pop the Evilly Match. So, pop the Evilly Match. And we will search out. We can search out Ignis Heat. I would search out... Um, Dynamite Knight, so pretty good card to search out right there. Um, and now we have four cards in hand, but we have two cards on the field. Now, what I would do is activate Disciples on field, uh, which is really good. We do have the combo basically at this point. Uh, you have to think of your you have to think of the board and what you want to end in. You can set send these two cards and draw two more cards. But those two cards are basically mystery cards. While these two cards are very powerful as you're gonna diagram can search you out any card next turn. You have to run you would would you wanna run the risk of sending these two cards and drawing two additional cards that you don't know, or would you wanna play it safe because you have a pretty good hand with um basically a floodgate and a mon and a omni negate plus a monster. Would you just play it safe? And at this point I would play it safe with uh the True Draco deck and I'd activate disciples to tribute summon additionally. And I'll tribute summon the souls. Send it to the graveyard and set two and pass it to my opponent. So at this point my your opponent obviously doesn't know what your set cards are and it would have to play around it. And the minute they try to activate a monster effect you can always put monitors erupt to disrupt them. And then you have the judgment just in case if they try to do something like evenly match. So it's a very simple um board to play with right there. But it's something that you have to think because there's a lot of people that would try to do the gambling thing and send uh, Disciples and the uh, Diagram or one of these cards and try to draw into it. Now granted you can get something good, but with a hand like this, you rather just play with the certainty. So, I would just leave it like that and you most 9 times out of 10 you would win that duel. Just because of you have a big beater that's 2800, can't be destroyed by battle, you got Psalm Judgment, and then you got a floodgate skill drain basically for your opponent that your their monsters can't activate anything. So it's really good. Now on to test hand number two. We're gonna try a couple more times. We're gonna see what we get. We get blue boy, we got disciples, we got judgment, we got two judgments, and we got upstart. So in this case I would activate magician. I'm gonna go a little faster for you guys. So I'm gonna activate magician. I'm gonna search out whew, upside down cards. I'm gonna search out Secrets, I'm going to activate Secrets, obviously we have cards in hand, we're doing the same thing, we're deck thinning. I'm going to get our Knowledge, and now I'm going to activate Knowledge, send both, and uh, we still have 4 cards in hand, we're going to draw 2, we got uh, Souls and uh, <laughs> uh, Return, True King's Return, so I'm going to activate Souls, to special summon it, dump the Illusion Apprentice Magician, right here. And then we're going to activate Upstart now that we got uh, Illusion Magician off the uh, board. Might as well just draw the additional card. So we draw one. Got another soul, so not a good card, but hey, it happens, right? We're going to set these two cards. And we're going to activate Souls Effect. And we're going to pitch off the... Uh, hmm pitch off the true king's return and we're gonna draw one so now we got a uh, true king of heritage we're gonna activate heritage we're gonna activate additional effect because we did set the uh, true king return before before we sent it from the souls we're gonna draw one card and we drew into maiden we're going to activate uh Draco Phoenix basically right here so you guys can see it we're gonna activate this additional fact and we're going to tribute off Magician Souls to summon Draco Phoenix 
let's see. We only got one uh, True King return, but face down, we do have two Judgments. We do have two uh, True Draco spell cards, and we do have Maiden. So, at worst, we get uh, Judgment to negate two cards, and then we get Search Out uh, Ignis Heat, or preferably Search Out um, Draco Fighter, basically. So, pretty interesting. That is test hand number two. As you can see, the deck is pretty consistent at what it does. And you'll always have disruptors if you play the deck right. Now on to the third test hand. Hopefully, we get a little different variety here for you guys. And I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we keep drawing into... Search cards. This deck is super consistent, guys, because I just keep drawing into draw cards all day long. So, obviously, first things first, we're going to want to activate Skill, uh, skill Drain. We're going to activate Spellbook of Secrets and search out. Uh, we can search out Blue Boy. Might as well. Just And as you can see, guys, I never waste, um, a waste an opportunity to deck in. You want to deck in the certainties first before you start drawing with the uncertainties. And so I got the Spellbook of Knowledge. And before I even activate Spellbook of Knowledge, I'm going to obviously activate Magician Souls, dump the Apprentice Illusion Magician so I don't draw into that. God, lo God knows I do not want to draw into that stuff right now. And now I will... Upstart Goblin, pay them, give him a thousand draw a card that we drew into Judgment. I'm going to activate Knowledge, I'm going to discard uh, the Spellbook Boy, and I'm going to draw two. Drew in two Majesties and uh, two Draco uh, Phoenix. I'm going to activate the two Draco Disciple, and I will activate, um, hmm. I will activate uh, Magician Souls. I'm going to discard this card and draw one. So we drew into another Souls. For no and you know you could actually... Um, for another thing, I didn't I didn't mention the deck before. You can normal summon Souls and you can activate the same effect of drawing and sending. So it's a really good. You don't have to special summon to activate that draw card. But our hand's pretty solid right now because I can normal summon... I can activate Heritage and I can activate the effect to draw an additional card. Um, so we'll draw one. And now we got we got the whole the whole gang guys, and now I'm gonna activate uh, two Draco Heritage, and I'm going to tribute off the souls to summon him. So I'm gonna just summon him right here, so you guys can see him more easier. And then I'm gonna set the judgment, and I'm gonna pass turn. So when your opponent activates anything next turn, because this deck is very reactive, so your opponent activates anything, like even breathes, you can, you can activate Dynamite Knight, search out. Apocalypse, and now with Apocalypse, they basically can't get over Dynamite Knight. Because the minute they try to do something, you can activate Dynamite Knight's effect, pop this card, and eat, destroy a spawn trap, and then half the monster's effects, uh, half the monster's attack and defense. On top of all that, the minute you activate Heritage, you can just do this. You can activate Heritage. Right? Activate Heritage. You have, I mean, activate Heritage. I have to Apocalypse from face down. Activate it. And then you could tribute summon Ignis Heat or Majesty Mana. So you, I would tribute summon Ignis Heat. You could discard this card, pop one of their spell cards, and then the minute they activate something, you could search out another Heritage right there. Or you could search out uh, Disciples right there. Then when they try to attack, Apocalypse pop and half their attack during the battle damage. You would want to do this during the battle damage because they can't re re uh, retreat their attack. They can't say, "Oh no, I don't, I don't attack." Because once they attack and they declare it, you could just activate Apocalypse pop and they can't take that back. So um, deck is really good, guys. Uh, I showed you a couple of hands, and and normally, honestly, you didn't even need the souls because the souls didn't draw into anything. Souls drew into souls, so um, souls is not the most necessary thing but um if you have it i would play it because there's times where it comes up and it does come in clutch uh especially like if you draw multiple of cards that, that aren't used multiple times like um there can only be one 
and stuff. So that is it, uh, guys. I hope you guys love this uh, tom uh, combo. Uh, well, not combo. It's a tutorial on True Draco. There's no combo in it, but a test hands basically of True Draco. And if you guys really enjoy this, please hit a like button and subscribe. Comment on. Uh, other decks you guys want me to profile and obviously show you tutorials of slash combos and also uh, use the TCG player affiliate link if you're gonna shop on buying these cards or any of these uh, deck cores basically or any card that you want from TCG player use our uh, affiliation link uh, in the description it really does help out the channel because it doesn't cost you anything and they give back about like four or five percent back uh for us some cash back for just recommending tcg player so honestly it does help out uh during uh these times for us and uh really appreciate you guys with your support and everything so franklin from do humor out peace guys